Here tonight in Fukuoka, this is the show where we talk about local topics in Fukuoka, the hottest city in Japan. Here are tonight's headlines. There are suspicions that the results of a certain ranking which attracts attention throughout Japan every year may be erroneous. Intense footage up close Fukuoka 24-7 follows the hottest people in Fukuoka. This time, we caught up with the person behind the hottest party in Japan. Oshieta Fukuoka is the special where we invite celebrities in Fukuoka to explain the cultures of Fukuoka in English. Tonight's special guest is Goriken. We'll be right back after these messages. Good evening. This is World Fukuoka News. I'm Samuel Troy. And I'm Catherine Kafari. Here is our first story. Very shocking news for Fukuoka Prefecture residents has just come in. Pierre Dupuy has the report. I must warn you that the following report will likely cause significant distress to our viewers in Fukuoka Prefecture. Rumors have recently been circulating that Saga Prefecture is more attractive than Fukuoka. Saga. This may be the first time most people hear this word. Saga is a prefecture to the west of Fukuoka. In the prefectural attractiveness ranking, Fukuoka placed in 6th position, whereas Saga landed in 46th position. The gap between them is as vast as heaven and earth. In the past, Saga has mockingly been referred to as a colony of Fukuoka. Take the ice cream. Black Mombla, for example. Although it is produced in Saga, people from Fukuoka treat it as a product of Fukuoka. Despite this, there is no pushback from the people of Saga. So why does this occur? The secret lies in the people here. People from Saga are extremely calm and very rarely get angry. During the 2022 M1 Grand Prix, it was said that people with normal lives will never visit Saga. However, Saga residents kindly forgave the remarks and were just happy to be acknowledged at all. Various other comments included, it'd be fine if Godzilla attacked because there's nobody there anyway. Is the minus one in Godzilla minus one referring to Saga? Although no one from Saga complains, our show refutes all forms of discrimination and cannot condone comments like these. On one hand, Fukuoka City in Fukuoka Prefecture has achieved global recognition, even placing 42nd in the 2022 edition of the Global Power City Index. Despite the differences in recognition levels between the prefectures, where did the rumors about Saga being more attractive than Fukuoka arise from? Looking at rankings conducted within Japan, we can see there are mechanisms at play. According to the tourist accommodation figures for each prefecture released by the Japan Tourism Agency in 2022, Fuka Prefecture ranked 11th, while Saga Prefecture ranked 45th. With this in mind, I asked Saga residents about their recommended sightseeing spots within the prefecture. Ureshino Onsen, Take Onsen, Karatsujo. Saga is famous for its numerous wonderful hot springs, one of which is the Ureshino Hot Springs, renowned for its ability to make your skin beautiful. There are also many traditional handcrafted products, including pottery from Arita and Imari. Alternatively, what are some famous Fukuoka sightseeing spots? The only place anyone can think of is the Zaif Tenmangu Shrine. In other words, Saga Prefecture has tens, maybe even hundreds, more sightseeing spots than Fukuoka. So, what exactly does this mean? Some of our viewers may have already realized. Fukuoka Prefecture is nothing more than an area with hotels and restaurants. So, most people likely go sightseeing in Saga instead. If we consider this, it may be true that Saga secretly places first in Japan's prefectural attractiveness ranking. Despite Fukuoka having the upper hand, there are compelling reasons why Saga is more attractive. 
it has ninjas. One of the things that foreigners who visit Japan are disappointed about is the absence of ninjas and samurai walking the streets. This is a Saga Ganso ninja village. He's in Yume Kaido. I also had the chance to try on a ninja uniform. Oh, I spotted a fellow suspicious person in black. What are you? I am a ninja. You can see loads of ninjas here. Here, you don't need to be a ninja to throw a shuriken. A little difficult, but very fun. You can also try your hand at other activities such as archery or experience a karakuri yashiki. This is Mr. Kamiya from Hizen Yume Kaido. I asked him when ninjas first arrived in the area. え、1920年に江戸村として開園して、20年前にあの別の会社がここを経営し出して、数ある遊園地テーマパークの中で個性というか、なんかお客様にそこ行ってみたいなと思ってもらえるのところとして、忍者村という形で I feel corporate kind of vibes. He continues to explain. 常駐は4人で はい、平日は4人で回してて、で、土日祝日とか人の多い時はだいたい10人ぐらい。福岡とか長崎とかで活躍してるパフォーマンスをしてる人たちを派遣してもらって、はい、自分たちあの派遣忍者って言ってます。
八十万円。八十万円。八十万円。<laughs> Young people in Kitakyushu wear these costumes only once a year. So, 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 Japan has recently been hit by a major scandal with politicians selling party tickets and pocketing the profits for themselves. Perhaps this party is of a similar nature. As our reporting team makes their way to the party venue, they see groups of flashily dressed people all over the place. The team hurriedly dashes towards the venue. However, while heading towards the location, anxiety fills their minds. Is it really okay to broadcast the footage like this? Just to be safe, they decide to blur the footage with a mosaic. This is true, up close, 24 7 footage. In fact, the event isn't a party, but rather a nationwide coming of age celebration for young adults turning 20 years old, known as Seijin Shiki. In particular, Kitakyushu's Seijin Shiki has attracted attention from around the country due to the large number of young adults dressed in flamboyant costumes. Miss Miyabi appears at the venue. Kitakyushu's Seijin Shiki began drawing attention 20 years ago. However, the growing flashiness of the clothing has sparked criticism from people in the area. Comments included things like how the Kitakyushu Seijin Shiki was an embarrassment to Kitakyushu and attracted a rabble of undesirables. What was the cause of this reasoning? The answer is mass media. That's right. They received a negative image because the mass media portrays them in a comical manner. However, when we conducted the interviews, we discovered that many of them were upstanding young adults. Due to these reasons, the team decides to remove the mosaic. Bodies. It shouldn't be a problem. Hopefully. In 2023, something occurred that shifted these costumes from a negative light into a positive one. The clothing caught the attention of people overseas, which led to it being included in one of the world's four major collections, the New York Fashion Week. The outfits that were seen as clothing worn by degenerates in Japan were actually embraced as works of art overseas. Indeed, a close inspection of the outfits worn by the young people of Kitakyushu revealed their magnificence. 
なんか法王だからなんか中国のなんか冠つけてみました<笑>名前です龍ですえもう十回ぐらい聞かれてますずっとえかっこいいし迫力あるんでシンプルギャルごくつま So, what do people think when they see the beauty of Kitakyushu's Sage and Shiki for the first time? So, I'm from Australia, and yeah, so we came to see, and we were very, very surprised actually. Yeah, it's very, very colorful. Yeah, it's very nice. I'm from England, and we don't have this as well. Very stylish, very beautiful. And so, a new event was held with the help of the young adults. It's a fashion show comprising the ceremony's young participants. Just how important is Miss Miyabi Ikeda to these people? The party in Kitakyushu is far more wholesome than any event backed by dirty money from politicians. Finally, we ask the young people about their future aspirations. Indeed, Japan has a bright future ahead. So, Sam, what do you think about the Kitakyushu coming of age ceremony? Yeah, I mean, it's interesting, quite extravagant. Like, yeah. I can't believe some, some of the young people spend that much money on their outfits. I've always found the Kitakyushu coming of age ceremony interesting because, you know, they're showing a lot of individuality in right. a way that I think isn't always so common in Japan. Um, this, you know, a lot of times you're expected to wear the same thing and look the true. same, and this is That's one, true. one opportunity true. to look different. and to express yourself. So I think that was amazing. Coming up next is the special project Oshiete Fukuoka. This is the special segment where our guest explains in English one topic about Fukuoka. Tonight's guest is Mr. Gori Ken. Nice Hello, you. welcome, Mr. Okay. Gori Ken. How okay. are you? I see, I see. You see? How Thanks are you? Thanks for coming. Thank you, for, yeah, okay. thank you for coming. Thank you very much. Anyway, should we get straight into it then, eh? Okay. Let's move on to tonight's topic. So tonight's topic is... Hakata Amao. Oh, I know, I know, know, I know. Great. Hakata Amao is a variety of strawberry developed and cultivated exclusively in Fukuoka Prefecture. This, uh, Hakata Amao is uh, Fukuoka Bon. Fukuoka Bon strawberry. Understand? Hmm. Mm. <laughs> Susu ha. Susu ha. <laughs> Susu ha. Area Fukuoka. Susu ha. Ongya ongya. Mm. I am strawberry. My name is Hakata Amao. Name. What? Why Amao? Mm, why? Why? Mm, why? Uh, language top? Ah. Mm -hmm. Ma. O. U. A. Akai. Red. Red equal Japanese language Akai. Mm -hmm. Yes, top A. Ah. Say A. Ah. 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 Yeah. <laughs> Next, Ma. Marui. Marui. Mar. Uh, this, uh, this, ah, uh, as. As, uh, as type. Ah, uh, ball. Ball, 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 uh, ball type. Ball uh, type. Yes. Ball uh, so. Round. Round, yeah. round. Round, okay. Type, round. Next, O. O. O key. Equal. Big. Big. Mm. Big, right. big, 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 big. U. U. Umai. Language English. Delicious. 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 Okay. Delicious. Okay. Uh, okay. Uh, the first syllable of the word. So abbreviation made from syllables. Um, this amao um, very beautiful uh, red, red color. Mm. 
Red to red to red to red. Bright red. Red. Just a red red. More and more red to wow light. Well, bright. Yes, yes, yes. Bright. Bright. Okay. Wow. Very delicious. Eat. My delicious eat amao pattern. Strawberry head. Strawberry. Strawberry green head. Strawberry red and head green. Yes. The stem. The stem. Yes. Stem. Okay. Eat before. Eat before. Amao and green head. No crash. No crash. Water attack. Attack. Water attack. Water attack. Eat before. Ah. Water. Wash it. Water. Wash. 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 Yes. Ah. Before eat. Wash. 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 Okay. Okay. Strawberry balance. Strawberry balance. Balance. Strawberry balance. Strawberry shape. Strawberry balance. This green head. Okay. Okay. Strawberry balance. Okay. Hmm. Very sweet. Oh, okay. At the bottom, very sweet. Sweet, little, 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 little. Understand? Understand. So how are you supposed to eat it? Yes, yes, yes. This green, green head, cut, cut, top, top, gab, 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 sweet, 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 sweet. Okay. Last ending, very. Uh, mouse in happiness. Oh, wow. <laughs> okay. Okay, well, I'm sorry, but we've run out of time there, Mr. Gotti Ken Sun, but thank you for coming tonight and explaining to us about Amal strawberries. Mm -hmm. Anyway, we look forward to seeing you next time, so enjoy the rest of your night. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you very much. Thank you too. Hakata Amao is a variety of strawberry developed and cultivated exclusively in Fukuoka Prefecture. The name Amao comes from the initial letters for the Japanese words meaning red, round, big, and tasty. Amao strawberries are characterized by their shiny, deep red color and rich, sweet taste with just a hint of sour. Here are some tips for enjoying Amao strawberries. First, give them a quick rinse under running water just before eating them, with the stem still attached. Then, remove the stem and enjoy from the base first. Strawberries have higher sugar content towards the tip, so by eating them this way, you can continue to enjoy the increasing sweetness from start to finish. Now moving on to tonight's Kitaku Ben. We usually introduce the Hakata dialect, but when you go to Kitakyushu, the language changes yet again, so you may still have trouble understanding what people are saying. In this segment, we will introduce useful Kitakyushu dialect expressions for foreign visitors. Tonight's Kitakyu Ben is Ki. In Japanese, Ki means tree, but in Kitakyushu it means because. Now, please listen. Uh, excuse me. No, yeah. How can I go to Kokura Castle? A tree with a branch on the left side. A tree with a branch on the left side. A tree which has a bridge. What are you saying? Yaki, massage it. There are branches on the left side. A tree with a branch. Then the green will appear. And that's all for tonight's Kitaku Ben. Coming up next time. Fukuoka residents enjoy condiments more than ingredients. They put red ginger on their ramen as soon as it arrives and add a dash of chili pepper to their udon before even tasting it. Tune in next time for Hajime de no Udon, where Fukuoka-based Manabu Kasugabaru will try his hand at udon without condiments for the first time in his life. The next broadcast day hasn't been decided yet. World Fukuoka News. That's the way it is. You can now watch World Fukuoka News episodes on YouTube anytime, anywhere. You can see us from all over the world, including the United States, Asia, and Europe. So everyone, please check it out.